Good morning, everybody. I hope this finds you well. It's been so good to hear from several of you that um, some of the resources and teachers I shared last week have been helpful. I'm so glad to hear that. And I realized I forgot a few other fantastic mindfulness teachers. So as you continue to read and listen to podcasts and really dig in, um, make sure you check out the work of Ruth King, who has written a book called Mindful of Race, and Spring Washam, who's a biracial teacher based at Spirit Rock in California. So both of these teachers are fantastic. They've published books in the last year or so, so you'll find them on all the major mindfulness podcasts. So just do a search, especially if you don't have time to read right now, given that people are homeschooling and working from home and, and life is so different from what it was just a few months ago. So um, just do a quick podcast search of those names, Ruth King and Spring Washa. Listen to what you can while you're taking a walk or while you're washing the dishes. And they'll really give you um, so much good insight into how race and civil rights and um, whiteness show up in the overwhelmingly white mindfulness world. Okay, so great opportunity to hear from two black voices who are really doing powerful work. That said, there's also one more book to check out, which is Robin D'Angelo's White Fragility. And she too has been on a recent book tour, so you'll find her on lots of the mindfulness podcasts. Um, dig in, keep learning, and I'm thinking of all you in the United States right now, especially. So today, um, the practice is really built on the idea of relationship. And in Buddhist philosophy, there's a notion called dependent origination, which are two big words that describe the fact that everything we know and everything we are is based in relationship, that no one being can exist without others. And everything that unfolds in our lives is because of that nature of relationship. And you'll find that vinyasa is the same way. The poses don't occur in isolation. They unfold and they flow. So we're gonna hit the mat. I don't really have a plan today. We're just gonna flow, move the body, get into the breath. So let's start again in child's pose for five breaths. As always, remember, you're welcome to modify. You're welcome to take a break, take child's pose at any point. Really let your breath be your priority and consider the poses bonus. So five breaths in your child's pose. From child's pose, inhale, come on up to all fours, tabletop, taking a few cat cows, exhaling for cat as you press the mat away, chin to chest. Inhale, cow, belly down, eyes and tailbone up. Exhale, cat, hello. Inhale, cow. Exhale, cat. Through your nose, inhale, cow. Exhale, cat. Inhale, cow. Let's do one more round. Exhale. Inhale. And then bring your spine to neutral and press into child's pose. Hips to heels. Open your mouth. Exhale. Coming back up to all fours, tabletop. Reach the right arm forward, stretching the left leg long behind you. Lengthen here. Inhale. And then exhale, bring your elbow to your knee and hollow. Again, inhale, lengthen. Exhale, elbow to knee. Inhale, lengthen, extend. Exhale, elbow to knee. Twice more. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, bring it in. One more time. Inhale. Exhale, elbow to knee. And now inhale, lengthen. Exhale, come back to all fours, tabletop. Right into child's pose, hips to heels. Open your mouth. Exhale. Inhaling to all fours right away, second side, left arm forward, right leg back, lengthen, inhale, exhale, elbow to knee as you hollow. Inhale, lengthen, extend, exhale, elbow to knee, hollow. Again, inhale, lengthen, 
Exhale, bring it in to more. Inhale, extend. Exhale, elbow to knee. Last time. Inhale. Exhale, elbow to knee. Inhale, extend. Exhale, coming back to all fours. This time, make your way into down dog. Growing your toes. Lift your knees. Five breaths. Coming into that first Adho Mukha Svanasana, downward facing dog. Lots of space between every finger. Sides of the feet are parallel. Knees can be really bent if you need to, especially if your hamstrings are pretty cool. And you're breathing in and out through your nose. Last two breaths here. From dog, inhale, ripple forward, high plank, tall push-up. Exhale, press back, downward facing dog, child's pose, knees down, hips back, one breath. Inhale, cobra, keep your elbows close to your ribs as you lift. Exhale, child's hips to heels. And now downward facing dog. Bending your knees, rise to your toes, look forward, step or hop, top of the mat. Inhale, look forward to lengthen, and then exhale, deepen your fold. Come all the way up here as you reach to the sky, inhaling, and then exhale, palms to prayer. Release. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, fold forward, hinge. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, deepen your fold, separating your feet hip distance. Take that little bend of the knees, grab your elbows, and let's sway like a rag doll for five. Head loose, shoulders soft, bending one knee, bend the other, last two. Coming back to center, release your hands, walk your toes and heels together again, inhale, look forward to lengthen, exhale, deepen your fold, bend your knees, take five slow counts to roll to standing, five, Four, three, two, shoulders roll back. Inhale, reach your arms to the sky. Exhale, fold forward. This time, hinge at the hips, flat back. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, deepen your fold, stepping back to a high plank as you inhale here. Exhale, chaturanga or all the way down. Inhale, up dog or cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Stay here for three. Two. Bend your knees, look forward, step or hop, top of the mat. Inhale, look forward to lengthen, and then exhale, deepen your fold. Coming all the way up here, inhale, reach. Exhale, palms to prayer, release, follow the breath. Inhale, shoulders soft as you reach up. Exhale, fold forward, hinge. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, vinyasa. Shoot your step back, taking your variation as always, or skipping it and stepping back. Downward facing dog. Breathing here for three. From here, bend your knees, look forward, step or hop, top of the mat. Inhale, look forward to lengthen, and then exhale, deepen your fold. Coming all the way up here, inhale, reach to the sky, and then exhale, palms to prayer. Release your arms for chair pose, hips low, arms up. Sink even lower into your chair as you exhale. Inhale all the way to standing, exhale, fold forward as you hinge at the hips. Inhale, look forward, exhale, deepen your fold. Stepping back to a high plank, inhale, high plank. Exhale, chaturanga or all the way down. Inhale, up dog or cobra, and then exhale, downward facing dog. From dog, step your right foot forward, carefully lower the back knee, untuck the back toes, low lunge, three breaths here. Keeping your shoulders relaxed. Lengthen through your fingertips. Last two. Final breath, inhale. 
Exhale, hands to the mat. Step back, high plank. Inhale, exhale, vinyasa. Inhale, up, exhale, downward facing dog. Step the left foot forward, second side, lower the back knee. Inhale, reach, arms up for three. Last breath, inhale. Exhale, hands to the mat. Step back, high plank. Stay in your high plank this time. Do one push up. Exhale, bend. Inhale, straighten. And now for forearm plank, come down to your forearms and elbows. Breathe in here for five. Hug your belly to your spine. Activate your legs as you drive your heels to the wall behind you. Lifting the backs of your legs to the ceiling. Last breath. Toes and heels together, swing your heels to the right, take the left arm to the sky, and then bring your left hand to your hip. Can you stay here and breathe? Zipping your inner thighs, lift your hips. Right hand and forearm, press the mat away. Last breath. Inhale, left arm up, exhale, left hand to the mat, second side. Swing your heels to the left, inhale, right arm up, bring that right hand to your hip, breathe. Again, hugging everything to the midline. Breathing through your nose to calm your nervous system. Last breath. Inhale, right arm up. Exhale, bring your forearm back to the mat. Straighten your arms, press up to a high plank and breathe, inhale. Down dog, open your mouth, exhale. From here, bend your knees, look forward, step or hop, top of the mat. Inhale, look forward, exhale, deepen your fold. Chair pose, hips low. Sink even lower with the exhale, inhale all the way to standing, exhale, palms to prayer. Again, release your arms, chair pose, hips low. Stay here, bring your palms to prayer, inhale to lift and then exhale, twist to the right, just three breaths. Paravrita Utkatasana. Two, stay here, inhale, and now look down, fold forward, exhale, straighten your legs, inhale, look forward, exhale, vinyasa, your variation, inhaling up, exhale, finish it out, downward facing dog, from here, step the right foot forward for a high lunge, inhale, arms to the sky, Stay as you exhale. Inhale to lengthen. Exhale, hands to the mat. Take a vinyasa or step back. Downward facing dog. Bend your knees, look forward, step or hop, top of the mat. Inhale, look forward and then exhale, deepen your fold. Chair pose, hips low. Stay here, palms to prayer. Inhale to lift, exhale, twist to the left. Keeping that left shoulder soft, breathing here for three. Last breath, inhale. Look down, fold forward, exhale, straighten your legs. Inhale, look forward, exhale, vinyasa, your variation. Inhaling up, exhale, downward facing dog. Step the left foot forward, high lunge. Inhale, reach. Shoulder soft, stay as you exhale. Inhale to lengthen. Exhale, hands to the mat. Step back, high plank. Inhale, exhale, vinyasa. Inhaling up, exhale. Finish it out, downward facing dog. Finding the stillness here in the midst of the movement, feeling the warmth. Slowing everything down here as you pass through dog. And now toes and heels touch. Inhale the right leg to the sky. Exhale, bring your knee to your nose. Inhale, right leg up. Exhale, knee to your nose. Land that right foot forward. Keep the left hand down or place it on the block. Inhale, take the right arm up. One breath, simple twist. Exhale, right hand to the mat. Inhale, both arms up for a high lunge. Lengthen. From here, exhale, palms to prayer. 
And then bring your hands to your hips. And now look about a meter in front of you. And then for warrior three, lift off. Bring in your chest and your left leg parallel to the floor. You can play with pointing your toe or flexing it. But that left knee and the left toes want to point down to the mat. Engage your right quad. Growing tall through the crown of your head. Last breath. From here, press up to standing with your left knee in front of you. Tree pose. Place the left foot inside the right thigh or the right ankle. Palms to prayer. Stay there or extend your arms. Eyes up, face soft for Vrikshasana for five. Really thinking about the relationship in this pose between your left foot and your right thigh as they press equally into one another. Last big breath. From here, palms to prayer, hands to your hips, guide the left knee forward again. Exhale, step the left foot to the back of the mat. So again, you're in a high lunge as you inhale, arms up. Exhaling, palms to prayer. Inhale to lift, exhale, twist to the right. Left elbow outside the right thigh, Paravrita Parsvakanasana. Feel free to extend your arms. Feel free to take your bind. Breathing here for five. Continue to really lift the back of that leg, driving the left heel to the back wall. Last two. From here, look down, hands on the mat, step back, high plank, inhale, exhale, vinyasa. Inhale, roll up, exhale, downward facing dog. Bend your knees, look forward, step or hop, top of the mat. Inhale, look forward, and then exhale to deepen your fold. Chair pose, hips low. Stay here as you inhale. Come halfway down as you exhale for that Ardha Utkatasana. Breathing here for three. Last breath, inhale. Look down, fold forward, exhale, straighten your legs. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, deepen your fold. Bend in your knees to press your chest into your thighs. Reach back, interlace hands behind you. Drop in your face beneath your knees. Keep the knees as bent as you need to for five. Carefully release your hands to the mat. Inhale, look forward to lengthen. Exhale, deepen your fold. From here, step the right foot all the way to the back of the mat. And now, take down dog with your left leg in the sky. Inhale it up. Exhale, bring your knee to your nose. Inhale, left leg up. Exhale, knee to your nose. Land that left foot forward. Inhale, take the left arm up one breath. Simple twist. Exhale, left hand back down. Inhale, both arms up for a high lunge. From here, bring your palms to prayer, hands to your hips, looking about a meter in front of you, lift off into your warrior three, Virabhadrasana C. Trying to get as long as possible from crown of the head to tip of the toe. Plugging the left big toe down, engaging the left quad, hug your belly actively to your spine, your last breath. Pressing up to standing with your right knee in front of you. Tree pose. Place the right foot inside the left thigh. Stay there. Palms to prayer. Feel free to stay there or reach your arms to the sky. Pressing the right foot equally into the left thigh and vice versa. Your shoulders are relaxed. Sending your tailbone gently toward the floor as you grow really tall here through the crown of your head and your fingertips. Last breath. 
Palms to prayer, hands to your hips. Inhale, guide the right knee back to center. Exhale, step the right foot to the back of the mat. Inhale, the arms up. Exhale, palms to prayer. Inhale to lift. Exhale, take your twist. Right elbow outside the left thigh this time. If you want to modify by extending the arms or by taking your bind, please do. By finding the, the balance and the, the solidity in this pose by activating your back leg, driving the right heel back. Lifting the back of that leg to the ceiling. Last two. From here, look down, hands to the mat, step back to a high plank, inhale, exhale, vinyasa. Inhale, roll over your toes, exhale, finish it out, downward facing dog. Walking your hands to your feet at the back of the mat, grab hold of your big toes, Padangustasana. Inhale, look forward, exhale, deepen your fold, five breaths. Taking that little bend of the knees if you need to, especially if you've got pain going on in your low back. Head soft, neck relaxed. Breathe in here as you gently roll your weight slightly forward. Last two. Padahastasana, sliding your hands under the soles of your feet. Inhale, look forward, and then exhale, deep in your fold. Stay here and breathe for five. Last two. Slide your hands out, look forward and walk it back out, downward facing dog. From dog, bend your knees, look forward, step or hop, top of the mat. Inhale, look forward and then exhale to deepen your fold. Come all the way up here as you reach to the ceiling, inhale, and then exhale, bring your palms to prayer. Hands to hips, lift the right knee up 90 degrees. Either lacing fingers on the shin or taking your right peace sign fingers to the right big toe. Strengthen the left leg to inhale and then use the exhale to begin to extend the right leg. Remembering you can always hook your foot with a strap here instead of grabbing the big toe. Keeping your eyes up, your left quad super strong. Softening your right shoulder back into the socket. Last breath. Rebend your knees, hands on your hips. Inhale here. Exhale, swing the right leg behind you again for your warrior three. But this time, take the right hand and place it either on a block or on the mat under your right shoulder. Left hand can stay in the left hip or use the exhale to reach the left arm to the sky. Paravrita Ardha Chandrasana. Breathing here. Hips closed off so they point down to the mat. Last two. Carefully land your right foot at the back of the mat. Place your hands on the mat. Take down the left leg in the sky and open your hip. Breathing here for five. Two. Inhale, extend the left leg, square your hip, exhale, warrior two. Left foot forward, spin the right heel down, coming on up to Virabhadrasana B. From here, reverse, left arm up. Inhale, come back, warrior two, exhale, side angle pose. Left hand to the mat, right arm long in the diagonal. You can also take your left hand to a block. Breathing here. 
five. Two. Keeping the front knee bent, inhale, come up, warrior two. Exhale, reverse. Inhale, warrior two, and then straighten the front leg. Triangle, Uttita Trikonasana. Left hand to your shin, to your big toe, to the floor or a block. Breathing here. Last three. From here, wrap your right arm behind your back, tucking the fingers in your left hip, look down. Bend the left knee, looking more forward, Ardha Chandrasana, half moon. Now your hips are wide open as you stack the right hip over the left. Balancing on your strong left leg. Left hand on a block or on the mat. Right arm maybe reaches to the sky here, last two. Make sure warrior two, lightly land the right foot at the back of the mat, Virabhadrasana B. From here, look down, cartwheel your hands to the mat, take a vinyasa, using that vinyasa as your reset, as your opportunity to let go and begin again. Once you get to dog, turn it into dolphin by lowering to your forearms and elbows. If you're needing a break, this is a great chance. Otherwise, we'll be in child's pose at the end of dolphin. So see if you can stay with it. Just take it breath by breath. Breathing here, just staying with whatever arises. Remembering none of it lasts forever. Using the breath to stay calm. And notice the sensations without getting stuck in them, without thinking they are us. Last four. Child's pose, knees down, hips back, three breaths, rest. Downward facing dog, curl your toes, lift your knees, stay for two breaths, or for a vinyasa, inhale forward, exhale chaturanga, inhale up dog, and then exhale downward facing dog. Bend your knees, look forward, step or hop, top of the mat. Inhale, look forward, and then exhale, deepen your fold. Coming all the way up here, inhale, reach, exhale, palms to prayer. Hands to your hips, lift the left knee up 90 degrees, lacing fingers on the shin, or taking your peace sign fingers to the big toe. Strengthen the right leg as you inhale, and then use the exhale to maybe extend. Five breaths. Tracking that left shoulder slightly back. Rebend the knee, hands on your hips, inhale. Use the exhale to swing the left leg long behind you. And now, for your revolved half moon, place your left hand on a block or on the mat. Inhale, take the right arm to the sky if you'd like. Play with flexing or pointing the toe. Right quad super strong. Keeping your face soft, lifting and lengthening here, last two.
Carefully land the left foot at the back of the mat, hands on the mat, press back for down dog, right leg in the sky, and gently open your hip. Breathing here for five. Last two. Really driving the left heel down so the left toes continue to point straight ahead. Last breath. Inhale, extend your right leg as you square your hip. Exhale, warrior two. Right foot forward, spin that back heel down. From here, reverse, right arm up. Inhale, warrior two. Exhale, side angle pose. Right hand to the mat or block. Left arm long in a diagonal. Driving the left heel down as you lengthen through the left fingertips. Last two. Final breath. Keep the front knee bent, inhale, come up, warrior two, exhale, reverse. Inhale, warrior two, and then straighten the front leg for your triangle, Trikonasana. Reaching the right hand to the block of the mat, left arm long. Three more breaths. Consciously engage your quads. Consciously press that right big toe down. From here, use the exhale to wrap the left arm behind your back, tucking the fingers in your hip. From here, look down, bend the right knee, and now looking more forward, shift weight onto your straight right leg for your Ardha Chandrasana, half moon pose. This time, the hips are open. As you stack the left hip directly over the right, Maybe reaching the left arm to the sky. The right big toe presses down. Right hand lands on a block or on the mat or a water bottle or whatever you've got handy. Last big breath, inhale. And now warrior two, lightly land that left foot at the back of the mat. From here, look down, cartwheel your hands to the mat, take your vinyasa, inhale, exhale, lower. Inhale, roll up, exhale, finish it out. Adha Mukha Svanasana, downward facing dog. Taking a big inhalation, open your mouth, exhale. From here, step the right foot forward between your hands. Spin the left heel down, place both hands inside the right foot, and then walk your hands between your feet. Bring your feet about, about two feet apart, and point the feet straight ahead. Bend your knees a little. You might want to have a strap handy. In this case, you're going to have the strap in the left hand. Walking the right hand between your heels toward the wall behind you until you can reach that right hand for your low back. Inhale, take the left arm up with a strap in hand, reach back, and see if you can clasp. A variation of a nice hamstring stretch here. If you're able to begin to straighten the legs, cool. If your knees have to stay really bent, cool. Just stay with it and notice whatever you're feeling. Notice where your mind is going and let everything be as it is. If you're rolling your weight slightly back into your heels, instead start to roll the weight more forward. Last breath. Carefully release the bind. Turn your toes out wide and your heels in narrow and come on down for your malasana, deep yogi squat. You can always sit on a block here. You can always roll your mat under your heels if they're not touching the floor. It's very normal to not be able to do this pose the way that it looks on a magazine cover. And so just find your variation 
If you want, you can close your eyes. Stay here, last three. Eyes open, hands on the mat as you look down. Lift your hips and again point your toes straight ahead. Getting ready for your second side. Have your strap in your right hand. Take your left hand and start to walk it between your feet until it can walk behind your heels all the way toward your low back, reaching that left arm and shoulder under the left thigh. Take your right arm to the sky as you inhale. Reach back and see if you can clasp hands or clasp the strap or the towel or whatever you have. And then use your exhale to begin to straighten the right leg, depending what your hamstrings are up for today. When they say stop, please listen. Rolling your weight slightly forward here and noticing how the stretch changes. I love this variation for getting into the hamstrings and getting some nice opening in the, the width of the rhomboids, the back as well. Keep breathing here, last two. Carefully release your bind, set the strap aside. One more time, coming down to your deep yogi squat. This time, if you'd like, lace your hands behind your neck. Draw the elbows together and let the weight of your head drop as you find almost a forward fold here. Breathing in for five. Lift your head, place your hands on the mat. Start to lift your hips as, as you straighten your legs. Looking to the right, walk your hands back and your feet back to downward facing dog. Pedaling it out if you want. Stay for two breaths or for a vinyasa. Inhale forward, high plank. Exhale, lower. Inhale, roll up and then exhale, downward facing dog. Coming down to all fours, tabletop. From here, reach the right arm forward and the left leg back like we did earlier, inhale, but then use the exhale to bend the back knee, reach back, and kick up. You can look back over that right shoulder, or you can look forward and down. It's up to you. Really think about finding some lightness in the left wrist so you're not sinking down into the joint. And continue to keep the left knee pointing down and back. Last two. Carefully release, hands to the mat. Second side right away, reach the left arm forward and the right leg back, inhale. Exhale, bend the back knee, reach back and kick. Feeling the uplift here. Remembering you can look forward and down or you can look back over that uh, left shoulder. Keeping your face soft and your breath steady. As you continue to point the, left, the right knee back and down, last two. Carefully release, coming back to all fours. And then downward facing dog. Curl your toes, lift your knees, stay for two breaths or for a vinyasa. Inhale forward, exhale lower. Inhale, roll up, exhale, downward facing dog. Coming down to your knees for camel, Ustrasana. Knees hip distance apart. Elbows behind you as the fingers point down. Inhale, really grow tall. Exhale, find your back bend. Focusing on softening into this back bend for five.
Right hand to right hip, left hand to the left. Press your belly, your shoulders, your head up, and then right away take your seat to neutralize. Palms on your thighs. Close your eyes if you want. Letting whatever came up there just wash over you. Letting yourself feel it completely, and then when it's ready, pass on by. Taking a big inhalation. Open your mouth, exhale. And now seal your lips, open your eyes, downward facing dog. Staying for two breaths or for a vinyasa, inhale forward, exhale lower. Inhale, roll up, and then exhale, downward facing dog. Toes and heels together, inhale forward, high plank, placing the right hand under your face. Swing your heels to the right, reach the left arm up. And now inhale, reach under the right armpit. Exhale, extend. Inhale, reach. Exhale, extend. Inhale, reach. Exhale, extend. One more, inhale, reach. Exhale, extend. Stay here, inhale, lengthen. Exhale, left hand to the mat, second side. Roll over your toes, inhale, right arm up. Exhale, reach under your armpit. Inhale, up. Exhale, reach. Inhale, up. Exhale, reach. Inhale, up. Exhale, reach. Inhale, stay here, reach up. Exhale, right hand to the mat. High plank, separate your feet. Inhale, here. And now exhale, lower all the way down. Untuck your toes. Chin forward. Reach your arms long behind you, making a little tent with your fingertips. Keeping them touching the floor. Continue to press the tops of the feet down too. Exhale everything. And then inhale, just lift your chest. Pressing your pelvis and the tops of your feet down. Feeling the tips of your fingers connecting with the mat. Eyes up. Keeping your face and your shoulders soft. Last two. Softly exhale, rest, looking to the right, just relax. And now bringing your chin forward, bend your knees, reach back. Let's take bow pose, Dhanurasana. Knees as close as possible, exhale everything, and then inhale, lift. Keeping your face soft and your legs strong. Last three. Final breath, inhale. Softly exhale, release, look to the left, rest. Maybe rocking your hips here a little bit right and left. Bringing your chin forward, hands under your shoulders, child's pose, hips to heels, two breaths here. And now from child's pose, downward facing dog. Staying here for two breaths or for a vinyasa, inhale forward, exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, press the mat away, exhale, downward facing dog. Toes and heels touch, inhale, right leg up. Exhale, right knee, right shoulder. Inhale, right leg up. Exhale, right knee, left armpit. Down dog, right leg in the sky. Inhale, exhale, place your right foot between your hands, lower the back knee, untuck the back toes. Inhale, look forward. From here, pull your hips back. And now, you might want to have a block handy to sit on because we're going to land the hips on the floor just inside that left heel. If you need two blocks to take pressure off your knee, go for it. If you don't need any block, that's fine too. From here, you might want to have your strap handy. Otherwise, inhale, arms up. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, lift to lengthen. And then exhale, deepen your fold. Five breaths here.
Lift your head, arms come up, inhale, exhale, palms through prayer. From here, place your right foot on the mat. We're going to move into a pose called Krenchasana here. So it might be handy to have your strap here. So what you're going to do is take the strap and hook the right foot. I'm falling off my block. Sorry, guys. And now from here, you're welcome to grab the big toe with your peace side finger. Uh, inhale, and then use the exhale to extend your leg. Your eyes are up. You try to be chill, even though for most of us this is really intense. So relax your face. Another variation, if you're not using your strap, you can stay there, is to hook your hands around your heel, inhale, and then use the exhale to extend. So either way, keep lifting your heart, keeping your back flat. Shoulders soft. Last two. And now re-bend the knee, just bring your forehead to your knee and rest. From here, lift your head, lift your butt, plant your hands, and make your way back, downward facing dog. Taking two breaths there, or your vinyasa, inhale, exhale lower, inhale roll up, exhale downward facing dog, toes and heels together, inhale left leg up, exhale left knee, left shoulder, inhale left leg up, Exhale, left knee, right armpit. Down dog, left leg up, inhale. Exhale, knee to your nose, landing that left foot forward. Lower the back knee, untuck the back toes. Maybe have your block handy, because you're gonna rock your hips back like an Ardha Hanumanasana, but keep going until you can land your hips either on a block or on the mat inside the right heel, so you're in half hero. From here, Inhale, arms up, maybe strap in hand, exhale, fold forward. Inhale, lift and lengthen, and then exhale, deepen your fold. Breathing here for five. Lift your head, arms reach forward, come all the way up, inhale, exhale, palms to prayer, release. Bend your left knee so that foot is now on the floor. Grab your strap if you'd like, poking the strap behind the arch of the foot. Hug the knee into your chest, so you've already got a proud chest here, inhale. And then use the exhale to begin to extend your leg. Notice if you're rocking back, and try to continue to keep your heart lifted. Eyes up, shoulders relaxed. Just practicing sitting with discomfort, right? And being okay. We're practicing for every moment of our life that is painful and difficult and awkward and frustrating when we'd rather give up or run away. But instead we turn to the breath and remember it will pass if we can just stay with it. And remember that we are more spacious, more vast than any feeling that flows through us. Keeping your jaw soft, take two more breaths here. And now very gently re-bend the knee, placing the foot on the floor, just bring your forehead to your knee and rest, one breath. And now lift your head, making your way back to down dog, plant your hands, step it back. Downward facing dog. Staying for two breaths or for your vinyasa. Inhale forward, exhale lower. Inhale, Lord Mukhasvanasana. Exhale, Adho Mukhasvanasana. Downward facing dog. Bend your knees, look forward, step or jump through to your seat for Navasana. We can't not do Navasana, right? Press your chest into your thighs. Eyes up. If you want more, and you can begin to straighten your legs, it's up to you. Feeling your fingers reach forward. Feeling the action in this pose. Last breath. And now place the hands behind you. 
Inhale, lean back and lengthen. Exhale, knees to chest. Again, inhale. Exhale, knees to chest. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, bring it in. Two more. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale. One more. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, knees to chest. All right, it's over. Place your feet hip distance. Inhale. And then use the exhale to press into your reverse tabletop. Breathing here for five. Last two. Softly lower your hips. Soles of the feet touch. Knees fall open. Baddha Konasana. Inhale to lift and then exhale. Fold. Breathing here for five. Inhale, fly back, come all the way up, hands outside your thighs, guide your knees together. From here, rolling onto your back, feet hip distance for bridge pose. Middle fingers just barely touch your heels. Exhale, inhale, lift. Breathing here for five. Softly lower your hips, letting the knees just rest together while we rest. Taking one last back bend today, so another bridge, another reverse tabletop. I'm going to do a full back bend. Uh, you can do it on a camel or a scorpion. Okay, it's up to you. Hands and feet in place. Empty the breath. Exhale, and then inhale, lift. Taking advantage of the work you've built here, making some space. Full back bend, actively press the mat away. Bridge, squeeze your inner thighs. Two more breaths. Last big breath, inhale. And now softly, gently exhale lower, bringing the soles of the feet together as your knees fall wide open. Left hand on your belly, right hand on your heart. If you want, take a big inhalation. Open your mouth and exhale. Hands outside your thighs, guide your knees together. From here, place your feet about hip distance like you're going to do bridge again. But this time, take your right foot and walk it about six inches to the right, off the mat to the right, just outside the mat. Inhale here, and then very gently exhale, lower both knees to the left. If this is too much, you can also just take a regular, um, simple twist to the left. But once you've let the knees fall, you can take your arms wide. A final variation, if your right knee is healthy, is you can pick up your left heel and place it on top of that right knee so it's kind of like a weight. But be really mindful of your knees and don't bother taking that variation if it feels dangerous at all. So from here, look over your right shoulder for this nice uh, Z-sit variation of a, a twist. Five. If your left foot is on top of the right knee, carefully release it. Bring your knees back to that regular old bridge setup pose with your feet hip distance apart. And now walk that left foot to the left about six inches so it's now off the mat. Inhale. 
Use the exhale to softly lower your knees to the right. So maybe the left knee will land on top of the right heel. Now you can stay there. Or if your knees are cool with it, you can place the right heel on top of the left knee. Again, no pressure. You want to keep your knees. It's just a syllable pose. Gazing over your left shoulder for five. If your right foot is on top of the left knee, carefully release it. Gently inhale, bring your knees back to center. Hugging your knees into your chest. Let's take happy baby. Fingers to your arches. Heels directly over your knees, if that's what your body will do today. Feel free to rock it out right and left for five. From here, hug your knees in close to your chest. Gently rock up to your seat, extending both legs out long for Paschimottadasana. Wiggling your hips back if you like. Inhale, arms up, maybe with a strap in hand, and then exhale, fold forward. Inhale, look forward to lengthen, and then exhale, deepen your fold. Breathing here for five. Lift your head, arms reach forward, come all the way up, inhale, exhale, palms to prayer, release. Drawing your knees into your chest, bring your forehead to your knees, open your mouth and exhale. And now lifting your head, coming right into your meditation seat, on a block or whatever feels good. And then moving right into your meditation as though we've been waiting for this moment the whole practice. Hands in your lap, or hands on your thighs. Continuing to follow the rhythm of the breath, watching it rise, watching it fall. And if and when you get distracted, just notice. You can say to yourself, honey, you're thinking. And really tenderly and gently come back and begin again. Bring gentle awareness to your body. This incredible living, breathing creation that is a system of relationships. That is a web of interconnecting miracles. The 
this body that came into the world because of relationship, that is sustained through relationship, and that will live on when this form dies in the relationships it leaves behind. Leaving space and gratitude into this tapestry of relationship that somehow manages to keep trucking even when we don't always treat it so well. Offering loving kindness and tenderness to this very body of yours. And bringing awareness to the relationship that is the natural world, the ecosystems and the cycles that are wholly interdependent, of which our bodies are one tiny part. The air and the wind and the sun and the soil. Knowing that we are surrounded by relationship in all we do and are, in the way we move through the world. And then finally, feeling the reminder of that fundamental nature of relationship the fact that everything we are is interdependent, that we benefit from one another's work in the food system, that we benefit from one another's wisdom in the education system, that we benefit from one another's care in the health care system, that our lives are these many interdependent systems. We remember our calling to be in right relationship with one another, to stand up for civil rights, to speak out for black and brown lives. That since none of us exists in isolation, we must always operate in a spirit of mutuality of co-creation. That in this reality of interdependence, we can co-create a better world. Breathing into the awareness of all the possibility and the reminder of the responsibility we have to cultivate and nurture and care for those relationships. To be caretakers of one another in tender ways, and in passionate, fiery ways. Being called to stand up for our family. For every human being, every sentient being who might be suffering particularly at the hands of injustice. Coming home to that reminder of interdependence as it calls us into accountability, into presence, into compassion, Sitting in stillness here with the awareness of all of these relationships swirling around us, making our lives possible.
as you are ready, and only as you're ready. Bring your attention to the breath, your body, your senses. And then inhaling palms to prayer. We lift our hearts. Exhaling, we bow forward in very simple gratitude for this body, this breath, this moment, and this life. For as the yoga reminds us, each of these will pass. That we might never take any of those breaths or any of those moments, even and especially the most painful and challenging ones, for granted. Tasmai Shri Guru Ve Namaha. I offer all efforts to all teachers. Inhaling, we rise up. My friends and my teachers, thank you so much for practicing with me today. Please take a nice long shavasana, give yourself good rest, and I look forward to seeing you again soon.